Good evening. <laughs> and I do mean that most sincerely. Here, in all its porcelain glory, and I'm here to tell you this, <laughs> is the first British radio show to be transmitted on television. Thank you. See for the first time Peter Sellers saying words you could only previously hear on radio. Well, I want to talk about a word so far. You look straight up there. Oh, Not that. only that. <laughs> Not only that, but see and hear Spike Milligan is Minnie Bannister singing. <laughs> <laughs> and see England's tallest dwarf, Harry Seacombe, <laughs> is, as he says, what, what, what? Personally. What, what, what? Personally. <laughs> this <laughs> and all this. <laughs> in this, with them. Yes, the Goon Show is the Decimal Goon Show. To celebrate the occasion, I'm going to sit down. But before I do, here are the goons in... Tales of Men's Shirts, a story of Down Under. <laughs> and I mean that most sincerely. <laughs> 1938. But from the continent came ominous rumblings. Oh, oh this Spanish food. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. One brandy and pronto. One brandy and pronto coming up. How did you know my brandy and pronto were coming up? Those were the last words said at peace. At that very moment, Germany declared war in all directions. Bang! <laughs> Wasn't worth the journey. <laughs> Bang, not worth the journey. <laughs> war! I must strike me memoirs. The day war broke out, Winston said to me, <laughs> Got to stop, bloody. We can't go on meeting like this, you know. <laughs> England is being mobilized. Recruits were rushing to the recruiting depots at the rate of one a year. We join the story in 1942, a critical year for Britain, with British generals slaving away at their autobiography. Across the channel, the German high command were welding a master plan. Oh. Ach, so, gentlemen, be seated. Our scientists have just invented liquid that will win the war. Go, London. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh -huh. This chemical, yeah. this chemical, when applied to the tail of a military shirt, huh? is tasteless, colorless, and odorless. Odorless. <laughs> the moment Severa sits down, the heat from his body causes the chemical to explode. This way, the soldier will be neutralized. <laughs> <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> it might be worse than that. It's a wunderschön Geschreimer. Speak English, you swine. We can't afford subtitles. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dad. There's him, Yankee Doodle. How do you get round this thing? <laughs> I'm standing sideways. Where are you, you Burke? Oh, there he is. Now then, this is my plan of attack. It looks like a nail. No, it's a tack. <laughs> We Germans haven't a sense for humor. Yeah, just about everybody. <laughs> Oberleutnant Schatz? Be careful how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> you will take ten men, each one carrying a spray gun full of the exploding shirt tail fluid. <laughs> you will be dropped near Leicester. And sir, you will gain entrance to the great British military shirt tail factory. The rest is up to you. We shall call the plan Operation Burnbow. Yeah. 
The effect of this deadly plan was soon felt. The first discovery was made at Whitehall, where the British generals were working at their memoirs. Now then, gentlemen, be seated. Quick, quick, nurse, nurse, the screens, the screens. Quick. Portions of the charred shirt tails were soon at a military forensic laboratory where they were heavily forensic. Yes, there's, there's been severe combustion, all right. <laughs> Traces of sulfur and nicotine stains. <laughs> to say what type. <laughs> what do you think, sir? Sir, what do you think? What, mate? No. I don't know, mate. I'm only the bleeding clean around here. I don't know. I'm sorry, I... I thought you were one of us. No, I'm one of them, mate. <laughs> you don't look like one of them. I know I don't. <laughs> I mean, uh, why are you dressed like an admiral? Well, you see, I don't like people to think that I'm just a cleaner. I mean, I went to a good school, mate, didn't I? I went to Eton, didn't I? How long were you there? About five foot ten. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, mate, I was delivering the groceries. You were a green grocer? No, not green. I was more of a dirty yellow colour. <laughs> my way to the quartermaster general. Ah, this must be the place. Nick knock, knocky knock. Come in, Nick knock, and knock it in heart. It's me, Captain Seagoon, from the body of the same name. Oh, yes, Neddy. Did you hear they're sending up a rocket to photograph the other side of you? Come <laughs> this way. Lies, oh, lies. I'm losing weight. I've dropped three stones. There goes one now. <laughs> Sailor. <laughs> What's this then? My name is Bannister. I've seen you on the stairs. <laughs> but seriously, though, Fox. <laughs> now, Quartermaster Crumb. He, he doesn't waste in there. Oh, Obviously, no. Now, Quartermaster Crumb. Yes. I've got to say this strongly as to pay off. Yes. I want to borrow a stock military shirt tail for an experiment. <laughs> Now, uh, Whitehall, a crowd of high-ranking officers and Neddy, all wearing demonstration army shirts. I have here an ordinary military shirt, Angora. You will notice that the tail is marked with a cross. That is the danger area. Yes, I know. It always is. <laughs> now, gentlemen, this is a matter of life and death. I want a volunteer to wear this shirt and make notes of the way it behaves under stress. In fact, try everything to make that shirt tail explode. Now this, this is for England. Who will volunteer? <laughs> One brave volunteer? <laughs> One brave coward, then. I appreciate your love of singing and cowardice, gentlemen. If you want volunteer, we must draw lots. Eccles? Yeah, I will. Write your name on a piece of paper and put it in this hat. Right. There. Now, draw it out. There. Now, read the name on the paper. Mrs. Phyllis Quartz. <laughs> Darling! Get up! Wait, wait! 
I know the ideal volunteer for you. He's had more experience with Sir Tails than anybody. His name is... Oh, God, no! Oh, it's happened again, no. Abdul, quick, a new set there. I'm here to offer you money. Oh, Ned, Ned, come in and warm yourself by this woman. <laughs> She's just coming to the boil. Ah, oh, there she goes now. Oh, Major. Oh, what? I want you to undertake a dangerous mission. Danger? Why me, sir? Why you pick on me? There's 50 other majors on the establishment. Are there? Yes, they've been on it all day. <laughs> oh, it was hell in there, I tell you. <laughs> all this curry, you know, I tell you. <laughs> oh. I've been told that you have more experience with exploding shirt tails than any man alive. Well, I feel no pain, you know. But tell me, what are the rewards? The rewards are numerous. Good. I'll have a half a dozen in the plain wrapper, please. <laughs> on with this tail of this military test shirt. Come on. Oh, struggle, no. struggle. Oh, struggle, struggle, struggle. struggle. Fire and boxing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> struggle. Struggle, you twit. You're struggling in television. Wait a minute. While I'm down here, why don't we take this opportunity to drink to the success of the venture? Here's me. <laughs> Here's military mud in your eye. So saying, he threw a plate of mud at me. Neddy's next yeah. move was to get into Germany and then try to find out their secret formula. I like for the old way. I for the old way. Are you happy, Moriarty? Hi, <laughs> Captain. Hi. Ahoy there, Nidem. Come aboard. <laughs> Ups a daisy. <laughs> that water was taller than me. Yes, but it's older, you see. That's why. Welcome to the good ship Lollipop. You're welcome to it too, mate. <laughs> My name is Lieutenant Seagull. Fascinating. Better name for a twit I've yet to hear. <laughs> Ned, this gentleman in the red football jersey and one white sock is an old French sailor. Hi, mate. I've got the sea in my blood. And you can see where it gets in. A heavy sea mist descended, demanding constant vigilance by seamen in the chart room. Everything all right? Seaman blue bottle? Everything is Bristol fashion and ship shanky, Captain. <laughs> I say, do you know that I got an electric twit for Christmas? <laughs> And I got the junior plastic stranglers kit as well. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, to you, sir. Fifty men and dead man's chairs, yeah, and bottle of rum. What's that rough sailor song you sing, seaman? I'm singing this map. Oh, the brown parts are the land, do da, do da. And the blue bits are the sea, do da, do da, do. Going to run a night, going to run a day. The show went for it and I'm along, do da, do da, do. Oh, no, they don't write maps like that anymore. <laughs> I say, this fog is getting thick. And I say, yes, it is. <laughs> What's that? It sounds like Major Bloodnut. <laughs> it can't be. He's never had it that bad. <laughs> Is Eccles in the crow's nest? Yeah. Eccles? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Can you see ahead? Yeah. A dirty big bald one. <laughs> Is it one of ours? No, it's one of mine. Hands up, little native whales. What's the meaning of this? This? Oh, this means you're a prisoner of the German Navy. So that's what this means. I've often wondered. Hurry out here. Clap his wrists in plastic iron. Oh. Come on, you too, little spotty, heavy Herbert. Take your hands off me. Do you think you can take Blue Bottle alive? No. 
Fixes Moriarty with hypnotic plastic gaze. Do, 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 do. Hey, wait a minute. Thinks. Oh. <laughs> that was a good thing. I like that. No, Moriarty. Refresh from my think. Watch out, my good man, because I am trained in judo by the great Bert. <laughs> Using the body as a counter pivot to displace the opponent, I use the great Bert's method of throwing the opponent to his death. Be warned, Marinati. One false move and you die by Bert's method. <laughs> Oh, you wait till I see that twip back. <laughs> I saw that. You hit my friend Bottle again and see what happens. Ah. See, that's what happens. <laughs> Well, it doesn't get any better. The whole plot is misfired. Lieutenant Seagoon has somehow been betrayed. The destroyer had transferred them to a U-boat that took them to the POW camp at Schloss Eidelberger and Company Limited. The prison was full of British officers who had sworn to die rather than be captured. <laughs> it was winter when we arrived and the snow lay heavy on the slopes of Bridget Bardo. <laughs> Now then, now then, Englanders, my name is Von Allon. Von Allon? Yeah. Von Allon. <laughs> Be my own. Oh, 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 you pay for that. How much? Half a crown. <laughs> Want another slow go? <laughs> Shut up, Eagles. Shut up, Eagles. Take it right. What about time? Now then, Von Allon. What do you intend to do with us? Well, you naughty British man. They are going to be incarcerated. <laughs> I, I, I hope I heard right. Do you know what happens to British spies? No. So you won't even tell us that. <laughs> Throw them in, Starlight 10, 11, and 12 immediately. Gesprünnen, heinen, Arschgang, gesprünnen, Herrs, nichten, spritzen, gespritt. You do and you'll wipe it up. I don't like this game. I don't like these rotten Germans hitting me. Hit, 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 they went. All over my little body. Don't worry, men. I have a plin of a plot of a plan. When the German guard comes in with our dinner, let him have it. <laughs> Let him have our din din. I'm starving. I mean, hit him with his iron bar. Joy, slang, joy, slang, good bar. Alloys, mate. Listen, a German singing fluent cockney. Here's your breakfast, mates. <laughs> it's underdone. <laughs> Given love and care that Ed could recover. Get out of here, Russ. <laughs> Billy old dick. Ned and his party made their way to the great German chemical works at Schatz. Oh, God. By using the shortwave cardboard secret horsehair and mattress telephone, they were able to contact London by speech. Hello. Hello, Roger. Over, Roger. Over you, Roger. Under and over and up and over and up. <laughs> I'm receiving your strength for... German Nick, he's worse than that other poo, Belgian Tom. <laughs> Over, Roger, it's your turn. Now, wait a minute. We've discovered... <laughs> I don't care. We dis we discovered the formula of the chemical to explode the shirt tails. Gentlemen, it's called Gashatsa. Splendid. Listen, we've got to escape to England. We can't stand the food here. Well, listen, I remember in the First World War, I hid in a military cupboard from the Germans. They never found me. Well, throw out an army cupboard at once! Yes! There you are, you see, no sooner said than done. Pausing to give me your wallet, small change, checkbooks and rings for safekeeping, nothing more than... Thank you. What? Halt! Who goes there? Sprint! Oh, oh! Wounded 
phone. <laughs> Listen, Englanders, we know you are there. Yes, and we know you know we are in here, there. I can all go there. Listen, <laughs> we make the bargain. Hein? Hein? We let you all go free if you hand over the swine hunt. Me, Joker Bloodnock. Never, 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 do you hear? We'd rather die than hand him over. You speak for yourself. I am, and I'll make a bargain with you. Now then, Major Bloodnock, you let him go free, and you can have all these lovely nude ladies in here with me. We're not ladies. Yes, but by the time they find that out, it'll be a long way away. There'll be a whole new life ahead of you, my dear. It's wonderful. <laughs> but we got to do something before. I got an idea. Wow, wow. <laughs> here. Here. That's a good... I got an idea. Follow me. <laughs> and on that note, we end the show. However... Here is an alternative ending. Cynthia? Cynthia, darling? It's me, Tom. Oh, hello, Tom. I didn't know you'd come back, didn't you? Hello, <laughs> I've missed you a lot, Tom. You know, it's been so, so lonely without you here. Isn't it? Yes, I... I've been a fool about you. Oh, it's all right. We all get like that, you know. <laughs> this, 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 this parcel, it, it's for you. Oh, and it's it lovely. I love to get a parcel, you know. Because I don't often get them, you know, and I like to... Ooh. Darling, this thing is bigger than both of us. Oh, God. <laughs> it's an elephant. I can't go any longer. We're getting married tonight. So that night, Tom married an elephant. <laughs> Good night.